You know, to be honest, I did. How are ya? Hey man, if you're new and you're watching this video for the first time, hello, I'm T. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing How I Failed My Marriage. And did I cheat? Mm. Mm. Guys, before we get into this video, I know you guys want the juices, please subscribe. Again, I keep seeing I'm noticing 49%. Now it's at 52% of the people that watch my videos and apps are not subscribed. I really don't know how to feel about that. So please ask. Just subscribe. I don't think it'll hurt. Or do it, do whatever you want. Just thank you for watching. Now let's get into the video. No, I did not cheat. Oh my god. What happened, Terry? I don't see pictures of you and so and so. Did you guys get a divorce? Are you still together? What happened? What happened? All right, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Be patient. Okay, thank you. It was a lack of communication. I had a fixed mindset where I thought, I don't wanna communicate because I'm gonna be misunderstood. Or, oh, I'm just not a talker. Like, I'm a private person. If you don't ask, you will never know. And even when people did ask, what did Terry Ann do? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing's bothering me. I'm okay. And deep down inside, I was not okay. Like, so much was going on inside of me internally that I just ignored it. I did what I used to do best. I ignored it. I now know the importance of communication. Communication is very, very important. It's only important if it comes with comprehension. So that's dead that right there when people are like, oh my god, all it takes is communication for any kind of ship, whether it be friendship, romantic, uh, business, or family. Communication is not the end-all be-all. It has to come with comprehension. Because you can communicate something for, to someone till God knows how long. If they don't comprehend what you're saying, it becomes a silent chaos. It's everyone being misunderstood because no one is understanding. So that's one thing I learned early on last year and this year, how important communication is. And my marriage did fail because of my, because I failed to communicate certain things. I felt like if I did communicate some certain things, it might've went another way. But then again, I don't know. That's just me speaking off of the unknown. All I know is that I did not communicate certain things. Whether I thought it was too little or not important at all, I shouldn't have, spoken for the other person and when i say spoken for the other or speak for the other person sorry when i say speak for the other person i mean assuming what they're gonna say if i communicate certain things to them i don't think that's fair and i, I wasn't fair in that sense um i don't want to say i feel bad i mean things happen for a reason god has a plan for me that wasn't part of my plan i did learn a lot of stuff through my marriage and from my marriage I learned what I want and what I don't want. I learned um, that I'm not for everybody. I am not for everybody. Just like ketchup is not for everybody. Not everyone's gonna want ketchup on your fries. I like ketchup. But yeah, those are some of the things that I learned. Um, I learned about being, again, open and honest. Honest in the sense of not telling people what they want to hear. Telling them what's really on my heart. That's something I worked on. I'm getting so much better at. And not beating myself up. One thing I did do was beat myself up and I carried all the burden and the loads of how my marriage failed. And I really had to pick myself out of that funk. It was not easy. Beating yourself up is easier than getting yourself out of the situation, if that makes sense. So yeah, man, um, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for all the things that I learned and I'm grateful for all the things that stuck with me that I'm going to carry for the rest of my life. That I'm really, um, I don't know, it's such a touchy, such a touchy, touchy subject, but I felt like I needed to make this video just to release it, get it off my chest, 
get it out of me, you know, out of sight or mind. I wasn't really seeing it though. I don't know what I just said. I don't know if that made sense. But that was my um, whole thing about making this video. Is to clear the air for myself. And to be transparent with whoever watches this video. That I'm not afraid of saying that I failed. I think failing my marriage helped me blossom as a person so much better. Helped me blossom in more ways than many in my career. Um, again, we're communicating now. I'm a more open person. The last two videos that I dropped. You know. I don't have much F's to give. I read two books this year over again. The first book is Radical Forgiveness. Um, I learned how to get, forgive people and forgive myself first. The second one, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fudge. Okay? I had too many F's to give in a day. Now, I only have like three, maybe four. Four is just like for an emergency, like. I don't have many F's to give. I have myself, my family, my career, and then there's a lingering F to give, like an emergency F if I wanted to. But again, I don't have many to give. So, so those are some of the things that I learned about myself this year. And um, yeah, marriage is not for everyone. It's, it's. I don't want to say it's hard. It's just, it's challenging. You have to be up for the challenge. And again, you got to be able to go. You got to be able to be patient and ride the wave with whoever you decide to take marriage, with whoever you decide to marry or be in a partnership in that sort. Um, okay, folks. To conclude this video. I hope I answered all the questions you guys had in your mind. If we are together, if we're not together, no, we're not together. And yes, I failed my marriage. And I am proud to say that because with failure comes success with the things that I need to work on, which is my communication and comprehension for my own growth as a person. Um, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for the years. I learned so much about myself and about people. And the most important thing is I learned what I don't want. I think once you realize what you don't want, you now know what you want and you won't tolerate certain things in the sense of, you know your worth. Once you know what you don't want, then you know your worth. And please, there's no bad blood. I am content with where I am. I am at peace with where I am. And I'm wishing the best for the other person always. I, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to grow within me and learn who I am and who I want to become and own that and live in my truth. One of the things you guys have been telling me in the comments is live in your truth, live in your truth, live in your truth. So I'm doing just that, living in my truth. And for anyone that's looking to get married, go right ahead. Just know that it's not going to be an easy road. Anything that's worth it is never easy. But just continue to communicate, but communicate with comprehension. So yeah, man, I hope... You guys stick around to the end to listen to this if you did thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe i thank the man for making you your heart sure he treasure until the end and lovers land you give me chills oh girl when you wine more time wine two time wine three time baby girl come wine four time wine three time